Hey guys, welcome to Spirits, how to become a fire kitty tutorial. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is go to Fireland set on either 10 man or 25 man, doesn't really matter. Um, the first way of getting the fire kitty uh, form is you can actually go in and clear up to Major Domo and he will drop a, uh, a staff called um, Vandril's Flame Scythe, which is right here, and uh, when you equip it, you can now click it for a buff, so it's a buff um, that lasts until you become in combat. So when you click it, um, you have the buff uh, until you become in combat, or if you swap out your weapons, it will go away. So that's kind of annoying because it'd be nice if it was a buff that you know had like a 60-minute timer on it. Um, but they added what are called burning seeds that you can collect five of in Firelands and I will show you how to get those burning seeds which actually do give you a buff for 60 minutes which is pretty pretty fun so what you're gonna want to do is as a feral druid um, you are going to want to uh, sneak your way or prowl um, all the way up to Alice Razor so just you know take this path here sneaking and um, you can just bypass all the trash until you get to this point and this is uh, the room just before Alice Razor. So the way that I cleared this trash is obviously you want to get rid of these two um, flame guys here so we're just going to get rid of these guys and then you're going to want to kill the egg sacs all the while avoiding the um, flames from those giant um, firebirds. So here comes the flames. So you can just move around. There's one. We'll get rid of this guy here. Yeah, it's pretty cool that they actually added these burning seeds into the game because it just it's really neat to have the, the fire kitty buff um, that lasts for 60 minutes because I really do miss having that staff uh, before when you would equip the the flame the flame staff for a major domo every time you were in combat you would turn into a fire kitty so it was pretty it was a lot of fun so it's nice to be able to still do that with these seeds so again you're just going to kill these guys make sure you don't stand in the in the fire that they throw out And all you're gonna do um, once these guys die is you're gonna want to pull um, Major Domo over here, who will spawn Alice Razor. So we're gonna go ahead and pull him. And we'll go through the RP real quick. Sorry, it's gonna be a minute. So again, just the way you want to get here is um, here's the entrance, and just sneak your way past all the trash through here, you don't need to kill any of it, and then all you need to do is kill the pack inside this room. And um, once uh, Major Domo spawns Alice Razor, she's going to drop feathers on the ground. And once you collect three feathers, that will give you the ability to fly. And where we're going to fly is actually towards um, Major Domo's area, and I will show you that right now. So here comes Alice Razor, she's going to drop, start dropping feathers, and you're going to want to do this sort of... Um, you know, as quickly as possible. So there's one, two, and then three. Off we go. So the way you're going to want to go is... Well, oh, that didn't work out, did it? <laughs> okay, so I reset her. So this is actually a no glitch um, to happen. So if you basically get all three feathers and fly too far up, she will reset. So good that we saw that, um, so you know not to freak out. So she will respawn, and we're just going to have to wait for her to respawn so we can pull her again. Alright, here's her feather. We're going to pull her again. Sorry for the wait. So we're just going to go ahead and um, one thing I found that alleviates that a little bit is just feel free to attack her a couple times just to sort of make sure you kind of have aggro instead of grabbing feathers first. So we'll attack her. There's one, there's two, and three. Okay, we're up in the air. So now the direction we're going to want to go 
All right, so again, having issues here, so I'll give it another shot. I usually don't have this many problems with it, so not sure what exactly is going on, but we'll give it another try here. Anyway, the general direction you want to you want to head is sort of this way at an angle, straight towards the bridge and past the bridge, um, right into Major Domo's area. There's a a portal right in here that pretty much you're just going straight for. You land and then there's five seeds on the ground. So we'll pull her again. stuff. Make sure we get, get it. And I actually will wait a little bit to grab feathers, just in case. Okay, there's two, and then there's three. Alright, we're up in the air. Hopefully she doesn't despawn. Perfect. Alright, here we go. So you're going to want to head straight to Major Domo's area. So there's the gatekeeper there. And you're going to fly straight over. So the bridge is normally, normally there after you kill the gatekeeper. And we're gonna fly, fly, fly. And here we are at Major Domo's portal. Okay. And on the ground, you're gonna see these little teeny tiny brown seeds. There it is, burning seed. There's one. There's two. And there's three. And four. And here's the fifth one right here. So they stack up to five times. So pretty cool. Um, and then once you use one of them, you become Fire Kitty. And again, it's a buff for 60 minutes, so it lasts 60 minutes. So there you are. You can get Fire Kitty without having the staff, and um, you can have up to five seeds, and they're very cool. Yay, Fire Kitty.